This is a wobbler. It's used for setting up work to a centre punch mark, either in the four-jaw chuck or on the face plate. Basically, it's a reasonably straight metal bar, sharpened at both ends. This is actually a cycle spoke. It has a plastic bead fastened to it. This is epoxied in position. It's tapered at this end so that it can sit in that hole. This is a piece of hacksaw blade and it's fastened to a piece of plastic so that I can mount it in a tool holder. The little hook that you can see there is to prevent it from rotating. That's why it doesn't need to be straight, it doesn't rotate. In use, it's gripped in a tool holder and then it's moved into the work so the point engages in the centre punch mark. Whoops, a little bit of tension on the hacksaw blade. Just to hold it in position. It doesn't have to be really tight, just hold it in position. As you can see, the point is in the centre punch mark. This bar is 8 inches long and the bead is 1 inch from that end. So that means if this end moves a millimetre, that end will move 7 millimetres. And to use it, all that you do is bring the centre up to it. The centre is just an indicator. Then rotate the chuck and you can see this end starting to move. If you lift it up slightly so it, it's a little bit more central, it makes it easier to use. As you rotate it, it describes a circle. This end is circling, but it's a small circle. This end is a much larger circle. So, you rotate it until it's at its highest point. When that's at its highest point, the other end is at the lowest point. So just rotate the chuck back a little bit so that you've got one jaw on top. That's at the highest point there. Because that's high, that's low, so this wants to come up. So slacken that jaw off a little bit, turn it halfway around and push up from the bottom. Now that's already made a big improvement. Keep adjusting it so you can see it properly against the point on the tailstock centre. Rotate it to its highest point again. Slacken this off. Tighten the bottom one up. Rotate it up again, slacken off, tighten it up, and as you can see we're losing a lot of the movement. Keep adjusting it so that you can see it against that point. That's high, so that goes up, that screws in. Now as you can see there's there's virtually no movement at all there now. If you power the lathe up now, you'll see that there's hardly any movement there. You can carry on until that movement disappears completely, at which time that centre punch mark is exactly aligned with the central axis of the lathe. It depends how accurate you want to be. At the moment, that's not too bad. Unless it was really critical, I'd be happy with that. That's the wobbler. You can make your own, dead easy. As I say, it's a cycle spoke, a plastic bead with a tapered end sitting in a hacksaw blade. As easy as anything, and as useful you would not believe.